Morning. I wouldn't say it's cold, but it's a little bit cool this morning. We've got a bit overcast. Um, see if Andy can get some, maybe some ploughing done. Um, seen him already, and my dad. And uh, yeah, see what today's got in store. First things first, I'm on the mixer. I'll get this backed in here, and then we can uh, get a pre-mix started. Look at the molasses down the window. Disgusting. Right, so I'll do this the manual way. Sometimes you do it with the uh, with the spike. I'm here on my feet now. I ain't got the machine. So do it the proper way. Unwrap uh, this. Done. Two tens already getting a bit of a layer of dust on it. But anyway, time to jump on the nine meter. We'll get that mix started. Then we'll get some bales out for Andy. Put this straw in. It looks like there's more than half a bale here. I don't know who did the uh, other half. But that looks, I suppose there might be uh, might be these bales that my dad did actually. They might be them longer ones, so I can't say a great deal. I thought somebody's portion size was off, but I think it was my dad's portion size and he was bailing them. So if it sounds like I'm struggling, it's because I'm uh, trying to do everything with one hand. On it! I know what you're going to say to me. I already know what you're going to say to me. Can I tell you what I think you're going to say to me now? Sure. Um, Joe, Andy wants you to go and put some bales out for him because he's only got one left. I do. <laughs> On it, we all right? Morning. 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 So yeah, it was my next job. I get these on and then I can get him uh, a few bales out. Oh, as you can see, Andy and Emma down there, blowing that straw into them guys. A silage bale now from Mr. B, a Yorkshire farmer's farm. They're gonna open it up and see what it's like. Milwaukee beast in action today, or Milwaukee, wherever Milwaukee is. Probably. Silage, he says. Seen dryer straw. So M's just taking off the uh, plastic on that. It's actually. Um, really good stuff. Uh, it's haylage, not silage. But um, yeah, cows leave it. We might just change his fashion a little bit and use that instead of the straw in the mix. Um, see how that goes. See if we can't like it or not. Yeah, brush nosh. So I've just hooked up the straw trailer. I'll go and fill this up and then when we've got a spare tractor, we'll be able to fetch it around. Make the job a little bit easier, quicker, more efficient. Everything's about being more efficient here. If we possibly can. And this is part of it. I think any efficiency really, because like what's efficient on my farm here now isn't necessarily efficient on somebody else's farm. Like it might be a lot quicker for someone to just go around with the, with the load on and pick them out of the shed. But well, it's quite far to this shed, like around our yard. So we save a bit of time by fetching around on the trailer. I thought I'd just show you, because obviously this grab picks up three at a time, but um, with the height of this shed, it doesn't, it doesn't work out in threes. So this is how I build my threes back up. I always put the one on the bottom, right? So you could put the two on the bottom, but then you're trying to put one bale on top. There's not a great deal of weight on the tines that are on the bottom pushing down on it. So when you try and back out, it normally tries to bring that top bale with you. So, this is all like proper technical knowledge. This, this is like nobody needs to know this, but um, I don't know. I feel like just sharing it. So, then we get a two, like that. And because there's the weight of the other bale on top, so I release the bottom tines like that and pull away. And they come out nice and easy. Whereas, if I was doing it this way around, because you've got like a light fluffy bale on top, it's gonna to work perfectly now. But sometimes, you see as the bale starts coming away with it. So it just works better to put the one on the bottom and then the two on top. 
It's business. The load filled. We're still on the long bales because we had to put one the opposite way to uh, to get them round. Right, time for me to make a coffee. I think it's that time of day. They're all nearly done. I think while I'm at it, I'm going to order some tyres for that to nine metre JCB. It's about time, I think. <laughs> all ready. Yeah. Oh, what? You all right? <laughs> I think she's full left, isn't she, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> we set that up a little bit. She said her dad says that to her all the time. Yeah, it's quite annoying. Yeah, it annoys her. Yeah, it's just something simple. I'm half. Shut up. <laughs> we should have it on a t-shirt. This t-shirt's half left. <laughs> no. I'm not all right, I'm half left. And I'm not all right, I'm half left. Time to fill the beast up. Time to spend some big money filling that up. You're going for a long time. It's a long time. Does it make me old that I can remember it when I was 80 some pence a litre? I'm getting a few grey hairs on my beard now. <laughs> 515 quid, I think it was. Later. And she's full. Crackers, like in this next clip, I was trying to test the printer on the Weybridge, but M wasn't heavy enough. <laughs> she had an idea. Here you go. Right, you have to jump faster. Faster. Oh, M, you need more frequent, more frequency in your jumps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it don't work, M. More power into it. Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all over. Do forward rolls on it. <laughs> so Andy's filling the book in, filling the JCB up with the expensive stuff. At least it's red. It could be white. We could be on white. And me and Emma are going to clean this headstock off. And um, yeah, we want Barra, I think, Em. So, M's on the 9 meter, she's going to be cleaning up some loose straw that we've got about the farm while we do some mucking out, me and Andy. We're going to muck out the low gear here. We're going to muck out this pen here. Um, the one that we had for the grazing cattle. So, we're going to muck that out, get that all tidied up. And yeah, we're not going to dismantle it yet in case we have got you know a glut of cattle coming in at any point but um it's sort of will be all clean and ready for if we need to put straw in it uh, hay in it you know in it anything but um when it's got muck in it can't really do anything so, yeah it's our job this is like loose straw where andy's just you know and he's been blowing it in um it just a bit of wastage goes over the side it just makes it a bit harder when we're stacking these bales in in the uh summer when there's a straw on the floor so i'm going to tidy that up it gets used then in the sheds and little waste and business the reason that we're doing it by hand in here is because it's got like a nice level asphalt base in there with some hardcore rubble underneath so if we went in with the digger with the bucket we'll end up ripping all that up and making it not level anymore so just a few an hour and a half so just cleaning it out proper with the fork just saves a lot of work re-leveling the floor. It's ready now and I'm gonna go and pick up some t-shirts. Nice, so everything should be in stock now and I'll get them posted out tonight to everybody um, who's been waiting. Thanks for waiting so patiently. Um, it's took a little bit longer than I expected, but we're on it now. Nandy's on it as well. He's right on it, right, right on it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and pick some t-shirts up Andy and I've got a Range Rover to move as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got a Range Rover, you know. If you're a new watcher, check out when I got my new Range Rover in the channel. Maybe some people will tell you in the comments what type of Range Rover it is. Check that out. It's business. Got the Range out. <laughs> How long are you staying for, Joe? I'm going in a minute. I'm going to put you over to M because we've got a new prototype, so I don't want to show my head to The new prototype, jumper. 
What do you reckon, Andy? Very nice. Is it smart? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, well, if people let us know if you want it, I'll put it on the website. But um, yeah, the business. I quite like it. It's like um, silky, isn't it? Feel that, Em. Feel, feel that quality. Can you yes, feel yes. it? Nice. I'll, I'll get you one, then, Don't worry. Nice zip on it. And where, Looking well. Where can they get these from? Or where can they inquire? Oh, you know where to get them from, Andy. Jesus, <laughs> come on. www.joseals.com <laughs> Business. I think, I think they should, people should just get us to advertise stuff. Good. Can you imagine? Right, businessman. Like, Andy the, Andy the cameraman. Being um, like male and female presenters. Business. Absolute business. Who needs QVC? Who needs Q Yeah, exactly, Andy. Who we could just do it all. So what what we're doing in here is we're just um, tidying all the loose straw up um, and just tidying it up because it gets in the way when we're stacking bales, different heights and stuff. And as you can see, again, we can't go with the bucket because if we catch that with the blade of the bucket, it just ends up ripping the whole floor up. So, yeah, jobs are good. Andy's looking for some more stuff now. Oh, M's got to be absolutely freezing. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Do you know what, Em? I've not got goosebumps. Do you know why that is, Em? Just <laughs> oh, God. Right, we're stopping with the cheese and the plugs now, by the way. I'm going to get on to doing some proper farming. Yeah, look at the wheat. It's all coming. Can you see this? It's still got different colours, though. This bit here, and then it's a little bit darker there. And then it goes lighter again. So it's still recovering from that spray that I gave it. Um, and this area here is where the bales fell out of the shed. <laughs> The long bales, but yeah, that's looking nice. That wheat, apart from the odd bit of grass that's in it. Um, yeah, happy with that. I may have noticed I put my overalls back on. It's too good to uh, to get mucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look who's here! Just turning up. Ash, Flash Ash is in the house. I bet he has one of them jumpers. I'll tell you that now. Um, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get on top of the silage pit. We're going to cut the sheet back, push the tires back. And then we can, yeah, then we can cut silage out because otherwise we're going to be cutting into the plastic. And that's no good. So Ash is off there. Andy's going to do a mix. Em, what are you going to do? You know what is happening. We're going to go and shovel some straw, Andy. You look like a proper farmer with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Proper I'm just going to rake my onions or something. I don't know. Do you rake onions? I don't know. No, you just like... Yeah. I reckon that's... Next, you know when I get like some more merch and that? Yeah. I'll get you to wear it, Andy, and you'll have to, you have to have that as your prop. Yeah. yeah. I'll do your commentation behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll crack on with some work. What are you doing? I'm going to get the brush. Eh? Huh? Walking about it, wait here. No, we're just checking because when it's been windy these last few days, it's blowing all the cobwebs onto the wheat. Is that right? That? Are you teaching us something here? Yeah, you dad taught it, no. Oh, right. Look at that. You've seen that Em's using the brush that she broke. Look how clean that sweep is. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that is clean. Yeah. 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 Right, so we're all on about McDonald's now. For some Toby Carver now. Em, um, look, do you see that? Do you see that in background? At least she's not taking it home with her, I suppose. How long have been coming? What are you welly wanging, you? What time do we think we'll be done when we finish? We're finished now. God. Come on, we're going to be done for another like 20 minutes. Oh, right, well. You've got your bike. Yeah, you've got your bike. I'm going to have this bit. I don't know. Right, so um, we're off. Um, if you've liked our video today, please press the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, because it really helps us out. And. Um, 
yeah, if anybody wants one of them jumper things, uh, maybe message me on website or I'll put one up. I'll put one up tonight. Just bear with me because I'll um, I'll have to get it set up on website. Yeah. Um, fish bash bosh. What other word did I have today? I had another word. Bushka. 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 Yeah. Right, we're off. See you later. Bye 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 bye. Are you cleaning your hat? <laughs> when do you want your clean hat? Okay, tomorrow. Do you want it tomorrow? Yeah. And your t shirt? Oh, yeah, today, I don't mind. When do you. Well, well, are you coming on bike tomorrow or are you going in car? Bike's staying here and then I'm going to pedal home on it tomorrow. Because so, I'm going to drop off in the morning. So I'll pedal home tomorrow. So All I right. thought the logic thing to do was to leave it here. Alright, cool. I actually used my brain for once. New bike for me. Centre Parks. It's very good. It's nice. It's not punchy. On it. So Andy's doing a photo shoot for our website now. Business. Business. <laughs> it could be the end. Ash, hold it, and we'll swap places at Andy can get in. We're out to that tripod, didn't I? I'm out to the right phone now, I said that. Three points of contact there, Em. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>